I don't know if you guys can see it, but just beyond this tree, yeah, the tree's kind of blocking it. It <coughs> says camping in designated sites only, and you can see the little porta potty there. I gotta tell you, there are so many boondocking sites along this highway, and they are fabulous and gorgeous, and it's very cool to see so many beautiful boondocking sites. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the country sounded so pretty with the wind blowing in all right so we're up here on the pass between ketchum and stanley uh, and I want to say, when I looked at a map uh, yesterday, I think it, it's up at about 9,000 feet. But let's just give you a little taste of what it looks like. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life. I want to make it count. Honey, come on now and take my hand. All right, friends. We have not yet made it to Redfish Lake. It's been a beautiful drive so far. But we found a beautiful little picnic area we will show you. And we're starving, so let's go have some lunch. So here's the picnic area we picked. You can see pine trees in the background. And over here, the beautiful Salmon River. Okay, friends, so this is Glacier View Campground. It's one of the many campgrounds around um, Redfish Lake. When we came in, I don't know if I recorded that for you or not, but we saw a sign that had a list of all of the different campgrounds and the status. And today is Thursday, and they're all full. So I'm glad we didn't plan on camping up here. They don't look full right now necessarily, but they must be all reserved, so. This is a pretty little campground. This is the only one I think we're gonna drive through, but I wouldn't mind staying here sometime. That lake was insane. Actually, 
gonna head on out. Like we said, we, we're not spending time here today, but this, like so many things, you know, when you're on a little vacation or you go for a drive or, or whatever, there's always a million things where you're like, oh, we gotta come back here, we gotta come back here, we gotta, get, we gotta do this, we gotta do this. And this place and this highway, honestly, has been full of those places. So, to get a chance to catch Redfish Lake, absolutely check it out. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight, I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. of you that like to boondock we just left redfish lake we just went just a little bit north gosh like a mile and there were boondocking sites on the river on the river in the pine trees looking at these mountains so uh-huh for free yeah for free when you boondock you know you're camping for free so I had mentioned earlier that all those campgrounds were full, but let them have it. These campsites down on the river for free were beautiful. so far we just pulled up to Sunbeam Hot Springs um, it smells like a hot spring so it's nasty but it's beautiful let's go down and check it out All right, the heads up from the people that just left, they said that the first one over here is a great one to start with as you work your way up. They said when you see the red rocks, that's the one that's coming straight from the, from the hot spring itself. She said you can actually burn your feet on the rocks. It's so hot. So I think we're gonna suit up and enjoy some of these hot springs. Okay friends, so we are in the hot springs. We went ahead and changed and got our, we found a pool. There's several pools and you just have to find one that's the right temperature for you. Some were too hot, some were too cold, but we found a perfect one and you just have to be super careful of the water that's coming directly off of the mountain because it is scalding hot. So here's another pool right beside us. That one's a little cold. We'll go on the other side of Bean here. This one's super inconsistent. It's hot and cold, both. The one that we're in 
is also inconsistent. They all kind of are. And it's, but it's more hot than cold. But can we just take a moment, my friends, and check out where we are and the fact that we're sitting in this hot springs for free? Thank you. Catch you next time. Peace out.